Hi there, Laura Wilson here. Now I am going to do a few videos today, so you'll see me looking the same. Now at the moment I've got half my eye makeup on and no base, and I'm going to be doing my month in review, and this is January in, new, in review. And I got this idea from Kyra from Journey and Beauty, and I saw her doing one and I thought that's a really good idea because I've been tossing up, do I want to do empties videos? Not really. I don't find them that interesting, but I wouldn't mind keeping track of my empties and showing you what I've been using, but I don't want to have a whole video just on empties, so I don't have that many empties in a month. And um, so she was doing sort of favourites, empties, reviewing sort of anything that she's really enjoyed or techniques and things. And I had a technique that I have been doing this month that I've really enjoyed and I've also got a few empties and a few new purchases that I wanted to share with you so um, I thought I'd just do it all together and um, I will link Kira's video down below so you can see that I really enjoy her channel it's um she's she's really sweet and I enjoy watching her so um, if you're into she's doing a no buy year this year and she's doing a pan that palette and she wants to try different techniques and learn different skills and things so if you're into any of that then go check her out and have a look and so for my new technique that I have been doing this month because it's summer here and it has been so so hot I haven't felt like wearing foundation and I've been using a bit of powder foundation and just flicking it on with a fluffy brush but um, I do sometimes want to wear foundation but I just the, the foundation that I'm using at the moment in my pan project pan stuff is the Superstay 24 hour Maybelline one and um, it's a full coverage foundation and I don't want to wear full coverage in the middle of summer. So I could just switch and use a different foundation, but I thought, well, how can I make this work? Now, I usually use a sponge to put my foundation on and um, I have a couple of these flat brushes that are supposed to buff your foundation on and I can never get them to work properly. It always goes a bit streaky and things. So um, I watched Wayne Goss doing his foundation with a foundation brush and how he puts it on the back of his hand and just dots a bit on which is the way I do it anyway but then I saw someone else and I can't remember who it was and I couldn't for the life of me find whose video it was I watched I saw some other people's videos but I couldn't find the one that actually inspired me to do this and that was putting your foundation on with a fluffy brush so this is a wet n wild brush and it's a powder brush but um, I'm going to try it with a fluffy brush, I thought. And I really like the result. So I have two different colours here because I couldn't get my right shade. So I'm using sand and soft beige. And I'm just mixing it on the back of my hand. And then I just dot some on my face where I want coverage. And then I just go with my fluffy brush and spread it out. And it gives a nice light coverage. And so I can concentrate the foundation where I want it and just blend it into my skin. So I haven't actually got really any around here. It's just evening out my skin tone and I've still got plenty on the back of my hand because when I mix foundations that's what happens you end up with lots of extra on the back of your hand that you don't really use and I don't get any streaks and it just looks like my skin but it's just a more even skin tone so I really like that and so that's that's a technique that I have discovered this month that is a favourite now and it will definitely be something that I'll be keeping in my what do you call it in my um, box of tricks for 
things I want to do with my makeup. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. I'll think of it later when I finish the video, what I actually was trying to say. I'm just using my LA Girl Pro Conceal to do under my eyes. And I very often, I forgot today, because <laughs> so, so wanting to get on with the video that I forgot a couple of steps. So I often do this before I do the foundation. But it doesn't matter, you can do it afterwards. And then I use my face one just on this area here. I got a little bit sunburnt yesterday. So it was so hot and I was trying to take some stuff out of the van and going to the shed, between the shed and the van. And I had a hat on and I had sunscreen on, but it still got a little bit red. So I'll just cover that up a bit. And so that's how I've been doing my base and I've also been powdering it. And another favourite that I've discovered, I'm just going to wipe that off my hand before I get it all over myself again, <laughs> is um, it was actually a free product I got and I'll show you because I forgot to bring that over as well. <laughs> so when you, when I was in Farmers the other day, which is a department store in New Zealand, we um, They've got Australis makeup, and if you bought two things, you got a free gift, which this was the free gift, the Australis banana loose powder. And I um, I got that, because I bought two things. I was trying to remember what they are. I can't remember what they are, but I will show you after. And um, I've used banana powder before, and... I've never found it really suits me. It was, it's always been too dark, but I don't know whether it's because it's summer and I've got a bit of a tan on, or it's this particular banana powder. But this particular banana powder is nice. It works for me. It's supposed to um, help with dark circles and redness. So maybe I should stick some of that on my nose too then, if it's supposed to help with redness. So I've been enjoying that this month. I haven't had it very long, but I have been enjoying it and I can see me using it for the rest of the summer quite happily. And there isn't very many powders that I can use under my eyes without it looking cakey. And this one does not go cakey on me under my eyes. So I was really happy with that find. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I will show you the rest of my favorites and my empties and anything else I wanted to talk about for the month. Oh no, I forgot to put my perfume on this morning. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I've done that now. So I finished the rest of my face, mostly. There's a couple more things I want to do that is on camera. So um, the other thing that I've been really enjoying this month is my e.l.f. bronzing powder in golden. And it looks like, like this. And it is a shimmery bronzer. It's quite light, I don't know. So it's quite subtle. And what I've been doing is after I've done my bronzer and everything, I've just been swirling my brush around in there. And depending on how dark I am, depending on where I swirl it, swirl it and because I'm as dark as I ever get at the moment. <laughs> so I've been enjoying just putting a little bit of shimmer on my face, apart from my highlighter. And maybe a bit over my nose. Make the most of the fact that I have a little bit of a tab. So I've been enjoying using that mat this month as well. And I just used a Wet n Wild angle brush. I think that's a blusher brush. It doesn't have names on them. So I can't tell you exactly what that was. And the other thing I've been enjoying is actually contouring this month because I didn't have a decent brush for contouring and I brought this elf brush. I've got one, one here that's longer than the rest but I'll just trim that off. Um, so this is a elf sculpting face brush and it had a really nice curve to it and it fits really nicely into my cheekbones 
and then I brought this one because it, I can't just have one because then every time I wash it then I haven't got one to use so I brought this one as well which is in Simply Essentials one, this one came in a kit, it's slightly different shape but it still works really well and so I have been contouring here and here and here a lot this month and really enjoying these brushes and I think that's the reason why I've been enjoying contouring because I have brushes that actually fit my face and work well now so brushes can make a difference if you've got the right brush for the right job so that's something else that I have been really enjoying in my makeup routine that I never really did before so let's talk about empties I have got a few in my little bag now I was thinking about saving my empties for an end of year empties thing and I thought I don't want to save everything because I, I, I couldn't keep my rubbish there long <laughs> but I, I will save my makeup empties but all the skincare and shampoo and that I'm just going to make a note of and then we'll talk about it at the end of the year so I'm going to start off with face masks now I don't normally use a heck of a lot of face masks but I've been trying to get into face masks more, more often so I'll go through those so the face mask that I used this month was this one here revitalizing sheet face mask by Beauty Care and it contains shea butter and jojoba oil and I quite enjoyed this one this one was quite nice but I had no idea whether it did anything most face masks I can't really tell and this one is the second one of this that I've actually brought. I actually really like this. It's um, from the cream shop and it's a turmeric face mask and I don't I don't know what it is. It's supposed to help correct discoloration, soothe acne, eczema, dryness, combat wrinkles and age spots. So that sounds like a good one on me. This one is cruelty free, not tested on animals and I just really like this one. I can't pinpoint exactly what it is I really like about it but after I've used it I feel like my face looks nice and feels my skin feels nice and I tried this was a new one that I hadn't tried before this was a Neutrogena youthful boost 100% hydro, hydrogel mask so that's that was a two-part one where you put it was split in the middle which was the first time I've worn one of those it was a bit weird to put on but um, this was a good one I quite enjoyed it my face seemed to be fine afterwards now these two now who makes these ones these ones these ones were two bubble masks so it's a it's a Kmart brand it just says made in China I can't see what brand it says on it it's just when they sell it came up I didn't like these so the the charcoal one I didn't like at all it sort of stung and I actually didn't leave it on for the 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes I washed it off beforehand and then I used this one last night this one smelled nice it took me back to my childhood when um, we used to get those vitamin C tablets it smelled exactly like those old-fashioned vitamin C tablets but this one stung as well and after I'd washed it off I um and I put my eye cream on it stung all around here and it stung where I was a little bit sunburned and for quite a while afterwards so I won't be using repurchasing and reusing these ones again because I don't want anything that's going to irritate my skin like that. I, I use face masks to make my skin feel nice, not to hurt it. <laughs> and oh, another favourite, so this isn't empty, but this is another favourite. I, I just stuck it in my empty thing. Is um, I've been using the Makeup Remover Microfiber Cloths. So I um, will put some oil on my face and makeup remover oil to get rid of my eye makeup and then just kind of spread it around a bit and then I'll wet this and take all my makeup off and I've been really really enjoying this so I've actually replaced all my face cloths with a whole lot of these and I've really really been enjoying it these ones I've just got from the supermarket they're just a cheap one they're nothing fancy and I saw someone and I'm sorry I have no idea who it was do a review 
on, um, I think it was, actually I do know who it was, Beauty News, it was Beauty News, so it was Kat and Hayley, they're Australian, and they've got a channel called Beauty News that they do together, they also have separate channels, but they do a lot of testing and things, and they were testing a very expensive fancy microfiber makeup removing cloth versus just an ordinary microfiber cloth you know that you use for cleaning and stuff and they didn't see a lot of difference so <laughs> I figured well this one would be fine and I, I've got microfiber cloths in my kitchen and so when I wash them I didn't want them to get mixed up with the ones I would use on my face because I don't want to use the ones that I use for cleaning on my face, <laughs> so, if that makes sense. So um, that's why I brought these ones, because these ones are pink and a completely different color from all my other ones. So I know these are for my face. So I brought a whole lot of those and replaced my face cloth with those and really am enjoying using those. And it saves on a lot of um, cleansers, because I don't have to use so much in my makeup bowl. And another empty was my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gentle Milk. Um, I did end up repurchasing this, but not for me. I had this in my shower, and my oldest daughter was using it as well, so I didn't use it all up myself. And um, she really liked it, so I bought another one for her, and I didn't need to buy another one because I've got several other cleansers that I can put in my shower that I need to use up before I buy anything else. So that one was a favourite of my daughter's. And the other thing I used up was the... SNO Rosehip Certified Organic Mist Toner. And it's all gone. That was fine. I brought it for um, just rebalancing my skin after cleansing and things. I have no idea whether it works, but it smelled nice and felt nice using it. And I felt I was probably doing what I wanted to do. So <laughs> I used that all up. Would I buy that one again? I probably would. So, yeah, no, I would probably buy it again, but I didn't need to because I had something else already in my cupboard, another organic one. And I used up my, a trusty lip balm. These ones will be a regular use up, just a Blistex 50 plus sunscreen lip balm. It's all, all gone and empty. I always have one of those in my pocket, um, as you'll see, so that's the new one. So yes, I would buy those again, I always rebuy, I always have like one in my purse, one in my pocket, one in my drawer for when I lose one. <laughs> the other thing I used up was, this was really old, this was the Reclaim Age Breaker Enzyme Mask and Peel, Principal Secrets. I used this up, it was one of the ones I used the um, proactive system and for a while there I was getting the the regular monthly stuff that you get every month. <laughs> what, what do you call it? It's like a subscription that you get the stuff every month so um, you get it cheaper than buying the pieces individually. But um, one of the things that came with it was this so i had a whole lot of them but i finally this is my very last one i finally used all of them up and they were getting pretty old anyway so it was about time they came out of my collection and i don't get that um subscription anymore because i was getting too much of products so now i just buy what i need when i need it and another empty i had this is a new product for me this is the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules. Super expensive. Somebody gave me a sample in my um, local chemist and I was hooked. It makes my skin feel so soft and nice and I feel like I'm doing something for my aging skin when I use it. So I've used this one up and I have already repurchased it and I'm using it again. So they come in little pink capsules and you break off the top and squeeze it out and rub it all over your face at night time before you put your moisturiser on. And my last empty was my NYX Matte Finishing Spray, which if you have seen my um, Project Pan update, you would have already seen that I used that up. I like this fine. Would I buy it again? Um, I, this is actually the second one I've had of this but since I have started using 
the second bottle, I discovered the Wet n Wild Natural Finish one, which I actually like better. So I'm not sure if I'd buy this one again or if I'd just buy the Wet n Wild one because this one's matte and the other one's a natural finish. In the middle of summer, a matte one I think is good. I'm, at the moment, I'm using a Makeup Revolution um, sport one. So we'll, I'll see what I think about whether that one keeps my makeup on longer in the hot sun or this one. And I haven't, I haven't been using the Makeup Revolution one long enough to make a decision yet. But if I decide this one's better, then I would repurchase this one, I think, for the summer. But if I decide the Makeup Revolution one is better, then I'd buy that one. Or they might be just the same. <laughs> so yeah, I did like that. And I feel like this video is all over the place because it's the first one I've ever done of this. <laughs> I've done a few favourites, I've done a technique, I've done some empties, and now I'm going to do some more favourites because there's some I forgot. <laughs> so the Hello Halo Mega Glow Wet n Wild Liquid Highlighter. I have been really enjoying this but not on my face. I have been using it on my legs or if you can see, if I zoom out a little bit. I have also been using it on my collarbone, like this, and when I have my shoulders showing, on my shoulders, and down my legs, just to give a nice summery glow to things. I have no idea whether you'll be able to see any difference, but I've been enjoying using that for that. And the other thing I've been in join using is my Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Clay Cleanser and Mask. So this is not finished, it's not an empty or anything, but I have been enjoying this. And you can use this as a mask and as a daily cleanser. And when you use it as a cleanser, your face just feels really soft. It says for soft, healthy looking skin and it is a daily cleanser. And it definitely feels nice and soft on the skin so if you want your skin to feel nice and soft after you've washed it then that is a really nice one to use and i have one more favorite but it's in my things that i have recently purchased so i'm going to go through my purchases and then i'll get to my favorite um because i've only just decided i'm doing this i don't know if i've got all my new purchases for the month here because I can't quite remember all the things I bought. So um, I'm not on a low buy or a no buy, but I am careful about how much I buy. So this month I have bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. And one of them is a Burt's Bee lip balm. And this is this, I brought this one for nighttime because I don't need a sunscreen or anything at night time. I just need to hydrate my lips and keep them nice and soft. And so I brought that and I have started using that already. Definitely is honey. If you don't like honey, I'm not a huge fan of honey, but I don't mind it in skincare. I just don't want to eat it on my toes. <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, it's definitely very honey smelling. And I brought the Australis. Oh, this was one of the Australis things that I brought. What was the other Australis thing I brought? Oh, yeah, I found the two Australis things I brought. So I bought two Australis things and then I got the banana powder free. So I brought um, this Neutralize Eyeshadow Palette. I've been looking at this for a little while. Australis is cruelty free as well. And I've just realized it's got names on the back, which I don't realize. <laughs> And I haven't actually used it. I haven't even actually opened it. So, here we go. I've been looking at it in store. And there are just certain colours, like these two pinks. That, and, and like this one here, that are just beautiful. And whenever I tested it out in the shop, I kept looking at it and thinking, those shimmers are just beautiful. So, that's my weird swatch. But they're just really beautiful shimmers. They're lovely and soft and creamy but also quite pigmented and shiny and shimmery. And um, so I haven't actually used this yet because I only bought it a couple of days ago. I finally decided, yes, I am going to buy it. So I have 
brought that and I'm looking forward to trying that out. It has a lot of browns in it, <laughs> but the shimmers were just so lovely. I just wanted to try it. And the other thing I brought was the Australis Slay All Day Lip Stain. I have a red one of this, which I really enjoy, but this colour was just beautiful. It doesn't dry down this colour, though it dries down a bit darker. I shall put some on my hand. So it's not a really opaque lip colour. It's um, it's fairly sheer. It's, it, it sort of gives you that, it, it, that lip stain look, that lived in kind of look, which I quite like. So that's what that looks like. I will show you what it looks like when it's dried down and you can see the difference. And the other thing that I brought this month was um, when I went to the Rimmel stand, they had some new um, liquid eyeliners. So I got a green and a blue, and they're a shimmer eyeliner, which is really pretty. You can see that. And green. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but they have a beautiful shimmer to them. And I'm going to enjoy using those because in the summer I wear a lot of blue and I very regularly wear green. So I'm looking forward to that. And I have no blue or green liquid eyeliners. I've only got pencils. And sometimes when I want to do that little, little flick, I don't do a huge wing, but just when I want to do that little flick, a liquid eyeliner, I find it's a lot easier to use for me. And then last time I went shopping, I brought three things. So I brought the Wet n Wild Mega Go highlighting palette, which was just so pretty. I just take the, the plastic is stuck on there. Hang on. Look at that, it's just so pretty. Look at that beautiful pink one. Just beautiful. Where can I put that? Can you see that? It's really, really pretty. And even this white one, it's got a slight kind of violet. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. It's got a slight violet sheen. I put it there. No, you can't see that, but it's there. Botanic Dream is a lovely kind of skin colour on me. I can't figure out where to swatch things. <laughs> Can you see that one? No. You'll just have to take my word for it. It's really pretty. And I'm looking forward to trying that out. I've got really into highlighters this last year. And the last thing I brought was a new products for me, a new um, brand for me. It's the Karen Mueller brand, and they sell it down at my local um, health food store. And they're all um, natural products. So it says, you are holding a glamorous natural lipstick, avocado and evening primrose oils, and a whole lot of other stuff. Cinnamon, sweet orange. Ensure that this lipstick is delicious to wear and has great staining power and will even improve in the condition of your lips. So treat yourself to naturally beauty, natural beauty every day. It says, we believe in natural all the way from product to packaging. This pack was printed with vegetable based inks on sustainably sourced paper. And blah, 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 blah. It's cruelty free. We don't test on animals ever. So I got two of these to try out and one of them is called Orchid Blue. I have it. I feel like I've already done this. I can't remember. <laughs> so um, this one is a beautiful natural colour. I have on at the moment my um, Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick. And although it doesn't make my lips really, really dry, I never wear a liquid lipstick on it so I know I either put lip balm on it or I put a lipstick on it and this colour is perfect over this so it doesn't change the colour at all because it's a perfect match it's a really interesting smell I can't decide 
it's not unpleasant or anything, but I can't decide if I really like it or not. It's, it's definite cinnamon orange, yes. And I've worn this a few times now, and it does last really well, and it just feels really nice on the lips. And the other colour I got was, I was looking for the Living Coral colour. Yeah, I did talk about this, so that was the other colour that I got. And um, I wore this one the other day, and this one is really pretty too. So, that, um, that Slay All Day one has dried down now. So I will show you, that's the, that's the Slay All Day Australis one. So it does dry a slightly different colour. I feel like it looks a lot different on the lips than it does on my hand when it dries down. And so that's what I purchased in January. And my favourites and a new technique and my empties. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.